Hello, everybody. Um, this is Michael. Um, in this video, we will introduce a very interesting um, temperature sensor, one wire digital temperature sensor, DS18B20. Okay, so this video will be the basic knowledge about this sensor. Um, let's take a look at the data sheet to see what we can um, get from the data sheet, okay? Um, okay, the very important feature, it is, uh, the first very important feature, it is one wire interface, only one port pin for communication. Okay, this is a very important very important features, okay. And uh, so, uh, you will see here, it is um, one, wire, one wire bus can be only one data line and ground for communication. Um, this feature means you can save lots of wire if you're using the I2C, you, uh, including the voltage and the ground, you at least need four wire. And if you're using the SPI, probably you need uh, um, five wire. But this one, plus the ground, is only two wire. Only one wire for communication. So you can, um, from hardware and design, it's, very, uh, it's a very good benefit, okay? Is a very good feature, and also it can um, it can steal the power from the from the data line and uh, eliminating the lead for external power supply. Okay, so this is the first very important um, benefit and features. Okay, the sec the second one. And uh, so we take a look here. Each uh, this chip has a unique 64B shell code, which allows multiple uh, devices function on the same one wire bus. Yes, this is the second. Uh, this is the second very important features. Okay. Let's take a look. This is second. So, um, which means for the two while, you can have multiple devices on the same bus. Uh, so it's very it's amazing. You can Im imagine Im imagination like this. So um, there is one hundred temperature sensor just uh, run on the one wire bus, which is including the ground, is two wire. So it's amazing. It will save lots of wire, and it's very simplified hardware design. And, and also save the cost. And it's very, very convenient and very interesting things. OK, so this is the second feature. This uh, code. This call to make the multiple devices on the same bus. Okay, so this is second feature. Let's take the three. Okay, so um, it can measure uh, measure the temperature from minus fifty five Celsius to uh, one hundred twenty five Celsius. So this is a very big range. Uh, if you just want to uh, monitor the uh, normal temperature, like uh, if you want to uh, monitor a house temperature, this is good enough. Okay, this is good enough. Let's take another feature. Okay, four the feature four. And there is a, 
um, okay. There is an alarm, alarm setting, okay. Uh, the alarm setting, what's, uh, why we need the alarm setting? So it means you no need to read the sense, read the temperature value back. You can get the uh, alarm value. Um, for example, you're setting like uh, uh, 25 Celsius, Celsius to alarm something. So you no need to read the value from the sensor back. You can get the warning from from the register directly. So it will save the uh, save the transfer di uh, timing. Okay. Let's take a fine. Um. You will see here. There is um. A variable the package three pins T O six package okay <clears throat> this package is very interesting you can see this is a package you can connect a wire uh, uh, on the pin but you can attach the whole chip you can attach the whole chip this part directly to the surface of the object you can add, you can glue the sensors on the surface of the uh, test object it means it's, it's very convenient um, for your um, for your precisely measure the temperature on the um, object for example you, you you even can attach the sensor on this on the skin of a hand you attach it on the hand and then you can measure the, the temperature of your hands okay so it's also very convenient and let's take a look at others Oh, there is another more features. No external components required. Okay. So it's, it means the hardware design will be very, very simple. And just connect the sensors directly, it will be work. So it's, it's, uh, it saves lots of... Um, effort to design the circles for the external components okay also save the PCB ball space okay and uh, okay let's take a look at one another four more things so uh, the seven the voltage okay you will he see here the supply voltage Supply voltage is a minimum required only three watt, and the maximum is five point five. Okay, so it means it means it can support two watt, two kind of voltage, three point three or five watt. So three point three and five is a very popular two power supply voltage for the microcontroller or FPGA. So uh, it's uh, like a big range for the um, power supply and it's also flexible, okay? Okay, let's take a look at uh, other things. And you will see the active current is also very small. It's only the typical, the typical number is only one a micro n, okay? And uh, So this will be the, the, this will be the timing, the timing we will address it later, uh, very detailedly, because the FPGA coding is, uh, is you should uh, coding the code according to the timing, we will address it a little bit later, okay, so this is a pin description, okay. The pin description you will see here. 
The power supply is optional and very interesting. For most of the chip, the power supply is not is a must. It's not optional. But for this for this chip, the power supply is optional, and、um, you it must be grounded for operation in parasitic. The power more so means we get the power from the data. Okay, okay. This is the data in and data out. Data in, data out, and this is ground. And this is an overview, overview of the 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 whole chip. Okay. Let's take a. And this is a, a block diagram. It tell you how, how what it looks like in the chip. And this is a, um memory. This is a memory inside the chip. Basically, this is reduced reduced. Reduced, reduced,、uh, inside the chip. This is power supply, and、uh, you you also can see it can power from the from the data line. So this is data line power from here, and if you using the power supply, it will be power from here. This is a capacitor, capacitor, capacitor to save some power here. Okay, this is ground. So um. This is the room. The room、um, keep the what? Keep the、um, shell code. Keep the shell code inside here. Okay. This is memory control. This is the block diagram tell you what inside the chip. Okay. What inside the chip? And this is a num signal.、Um, okay. This one. Is tell you how to convert the read data to the temperature. Okay, we will address this a little bit later. This is the temperature date relationship. Okay. Okay, let's take a look. So this is how you connect for the hardware. So if you don't use the power supply. You must connect the power supply to ground, and if you want to power from the data line, you need added this, and added this、uh, components here, to power the,、um, to get the power extra power. But if you using the external supply, so you no need this, you no need this thing. Okay. So this is these two figure tell told you how to、uh, connect the sensor, and、uh, it's basically the schematic, and also you will see here there is no external components, no other components, only the sensors. So it makes the hardware design is very simple and beautiful. Okay, okay, this is the、uh, wrong code. It saved the.、Uh, If save the、uh, chip ID, something like this. This is a serial number, chip ID, something, family code, and the CIC numbers. Okay, and、uh, mm. in here it tell the、um, one wire bus system how to in how to communicate with the one wire bus system. And it's the detailed description, and we will、um, analyze the one wire bus system in the next video. So okay, we just skip here. And what this is a command. This is a command to to send to the chip to tell the chip what. What、uh, need to do when they receive the chip? Okay, this is all the commands flow. So okay, flow chart. Okay, this is flow chart. Okay, this is uh, uh initial timing. Initial timing. We need the coding the variable exactly. Um, according the requirement of the 
of the uh, the timing okay read and write times no and okay this is must read so the FPGA will be the must and the, um, the temperature sensor will be the slave and then the master uh, will communicate with the slave with, according to the protocol, one, one, um, one while bus protocol, okay? And there is one more thing here. Okay. There's a lot of uh, application nodes. So if you want to use the microcontroller, okay, the applic application node, and this will be tell you how to interface with this sensor for a microcontroller. But we 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 using a FPGA to control it, but it also have the um, reference uh, value for the FPGA coding, okay. And it's also a one while communication with uh, uh, this microcontroller is in importance. And uh, maybe you want to take a look at this, the one while I see in the battery package. And uh, okay. And also this one while communication through the software. It will describe more information about the, about the protocol. The last thing will be here. So this is uh, operate operation examples operation examples, and this one is um for multiple multiple uh, multiple sensors on the same bus, and it also using the per side power. It's not using the ex external power supply. So this is the flow how to communicate with the sensors and this is another flow but there is only one sensor on the bus and it also use uh, um, parasite power okay and we will address this detail in the in the we will later uh, videos okay so basically we get some feature from the data sheet something like this and this chip is a very very interesting chip and uh, so we like to introduce it uh, here a little bit more um, uh, if we if it is used in the um, FPGA how we control and communicate with it okay um, that's it for this video I'm Michael and I hope you will like it support us and subscribe us thank you